Hey, what's up everybody? Clifton here with Clifton WP. Welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to reset your cadence install or even maybe your WordPress install back to its default setting. So let's say you've started building a website and for whatever reason you want to go back to the beginning or you're building something with cadence, you've installed a starter template and you've added some content and maybe you just want to start uh, from the beginning again with the default cadence theme and cadence blocks. Uh, what's a very quick way for you to be able to reset everything to the beginning and get started again? Well, you're going to learn that in this tutorial. So if you're ready to learn how to reset your cadence install or your WordPress install back to its default settings, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so here we are with a fresh install of WordPress. And I do want to say there are lots of ways to start over in WordPress, including just deleting everything and starting from the beginning. But what I'm going to be showing you here is just a workflow. It's just a system that I use to be able to reset everything, especially if I've done a bunch of work and I now want to start from the very beginning for whatever reason. So this is just something that you can do as well. So here we are with our fresh install and we're going to be demonstrating this using the cadence set of tools. So let's go ahead and set up our install. What you want to do is when you first install WordPress, go ahead and go to the dashboard, go to settings. You want to make sure that under the settings under the general that all these settings are exactly the way that you like them. Okay. And then you also want to go over here to the left, click on permalinks and just make sure that the permalinks are listed the way that you like them. And this, this one is for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Next, I want to install my themes and uh, plugins that I want. Okay. So I'm gonna go to my plugins, click on installed plugins, and I'm going to add cadence blocks because I build with cadence blocks. I want to make sure that I have that already installed. So just do a search for cadence blocks, click on install now and activate. So I want to make sure that I also have the cadence theme. So I'm going to go to appearance themes and click on add new. I'm going to do a search for cadence and I'm going to go ahead and install it. Cadence is a free theme. It's one of the most versatile and powerful themes in the WordPress repository. There is a pro version and a free version, but in this uh, tutorial, we're just doing the free version. Okay, so now that we've installed our theme, now I like to do a little bit of house cleaning. So house cleaning just means any themes or plugins that I'm not using, I wanna make sure that I remove them from the install. So I'm not gonna be using this 2021 theme, so you just select it, click on delete, and repeat the process for all the other ones. Now what I do like to do though, is I like to keep at least one default theme. So I'm gonna delete the 2022 theme, but I'm going to leave the 2023 theme in place. This way, if there's ever an issue or conflict or something happens uh, with the site, I can always reset to the uh, 2023 theme and debug that. So it's okay to have at least one in here. Okay, so it looks like I have everything that I need. If I go to plugins, I have my cadence blocks. And if I go to themes, I also have my theme in place. And if I go to the front end of the site, I can see that I have the default cadence install in place. So this is typically the starting point. If you're using cadence before you install any pro add ons or anything else, this is the starting point. And what I want to do is I want to capture this starting point and I want to save it externally from the site. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to employ the help of a plugin. That plugin is called all in one migration plugin. So if you go to the dashboard, go to plugins, click on add new, and we're gonna do a search for all in one migration. Now this is a plugin that's been around for some time. A lot of people use this to back up their websites, but it has a lot of different uses. And there is a pro version of it, but we're just gonna be using the free version. Okay, so go ahead and install, click on activate. And now you have the all in one WP migration plugin. Once you've activated it, you'll see it here on the left hand side and it has four menu items, export, import, backup, and what's new. And essentially what we want to do is we want to back up this site exactly the way that it is right now, right? So it's just the default. Okay. So, and we're going to use the all in one WP migration plugin to be able to do that. Okay. So what we want to do is come over here to export, click on export to click on file, and it'll tell you that it's preparing to export. Okay. So now it's basically backed up the site into this file. It's 38 megabytes in size. Go ahead and download it 
to your computer, okay? And not that you've downloaded it, just go ahead and save it somewhere, okay? I typically like to create a folder on my computer that's called uh, backups or a start over, right? A start over folder, and I just put that in there, okay? And then go ahead and close this. And now if we go to backups under the all-in-one WP migration menu, you go to backups, you'll see that backup in here. You can go ahead and delete this uh, if you want, uh, save some space on your server, or you can just go ahead and leave it. Now in the uh, pro version of this, you can actually restore a site in the paid extension directly from here. So now that we've uh, done that, what, we, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and just play around with our cadence, right? So right over here, we have the install cadence starter templates. You can either install the starter templates from here, or you can uh, actually go to plugins, click on add new. And if you did a search for cadence starter, you would see uh, a way to install it here as well. Cadence templates by Cadence WP, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on this one. Here are all the starter templates that are available to me, okay? So now we're gonna go ahead and work on our site. So our site looks like this. And what's awesome about Cadence is that these starter templates are absolutely beautiful and you can have a wonderful starting point for any type of website. So let's go ahead and create a, let's do this cleaning service one. Okay, this looks pretty nice. And I'm gonna go ahead and say, I wanna install the full site. Okay, and uh, I'm already subscribed, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on skip and start importing. Okay, so now the site's been imported. I can go ahead and view the site by clicking on this blue button here. And you can see now we have a full-blown cleaning website installed also with all the content that came with that starter template, right? All the pages are here as well. And out, out of the box, this looks great. Uh, you can immediately start plugging in your own content and styling this the way that you want and have a great site ready to go, okay? All right, so now that we've done this, let's say, for instance, you wanted to install a different starter template, okay? Now, the way this works, is when you install a starter template, it installs all the pages and all the content, all the sort of default placeholder content in place. So you have all this in, in, in there already. And let's say I wanted a different starter template, okay? So if I go to appearance, click on starter templates, and let's say I want a different one. Let's say I want this uh, painting service one instead. So when you click on it, you can view the preview. And you can say, okay, I want this site instead. I don't want the other one. Click on full site. And it'll tell you, it'll give you an option. Do you want to delete the previously imported posts and images? Okay, and I always say yes, right? The starter templates and the importing is typically for a clean install. So if you don't have anything in there, but there's also the ability for you to delete whatever you previously imported before. If you toggle this off, then it would just install it on, on top of what you already have. So. Typically, I like to delete whatever was previously imported before. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead, click on skip and start importing. Okay, and now this site is imported. So if I go ahead and click on finished and view your site, you'll see now that we have a completely fresh overridden install, okay? And this looks pretty good too. All right, so now if we go back and we look at our pages, all the pages are the pages that are dedicated to this specific starter template and the other ones are now gone. All right, now here's the challenge and the question that people often ask. Well, how do I go back? So let's say I don't want to use a starter template anymore. I just want to build my website from scratch. How do I go back and reset everything back to the default, okay? And there isn't a way to do that. So I think what would be cool is if we had a starter template that was just a default template. <laughs> That would be cool. And maybe in a later tutorial, I'll show you how to create one that's like that. But for now, there isn't a way to actually go back to the initial uh, install that you had before. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna restore it from backup. And the way that you do that is if we go to the dashboard and you remember the all-in-one WP migration that we have here, we're gonna go ahead and click on import. And we're gonna do an import from file and we're going to import that initial backup that we had before. Just go ahead and upload it to the install. Okay. And we're going to say proceed. It's letting you know that it's going to overwrite your database. And now we're going to click on finish. 
So now that we've done that, if we go back to the front end of the website, you'll see now you're back to the default install with all the settings that you put in there before. Okay. And if we go to our appearance and themes, we still have our same set of themes. And if you go to the plugins and you look at the installed plugins, what's interesting is it does retain any of the plugins that you had before, but it deactivates them. So if you had a WooCommerce installed before or any other the any of any other kind of plugins, maybe four plugins, it deactivates those plugins, but it keeps active the initial plugin from the initial migration. Okay, so this is a great way for you to go ahead and reset everything and then just start over. Now you have a fresh canvas. All right. And with that, I hope I've given you a good introduction into the all-in-one WP migration plugin. This is a great plugin for backing up your site. It's also a great plugin for uh, taking a snapshot of your site in, in a ways and then reinstalling it if you wanted to start from a specific point. All right. With that, thank you very much. And uh, if you are new to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification button as well so that you can be notified when I release new tutorials uh, on this channel. If you like this tutorial, go ahead and smash the like button. And I appreciate all of you who watch my channel, who watch my videos, and who also support the channel. Thank you very much, and I will see you in the next.